Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. Does having a study partner help you learn a language faster? For most people, having a friend or romantic partner who is a native speaker of their target language dramatically improves their ability to master the language. In this video, we'll talk about some ways to help you build relationships with people. We'll also talk about three reasons having a native speaker partner can improve your language fluency. First, knowing a native speaker helps you better understand the culture. Knowing a native speaker gets you connected with the culture in ways that no lessons or textbooks ever could. Native speakers are better informed about the latest slang expressions and know interesting places to eat and hang out. Having a friend or partner who is a native speaker can dramatically improve your understanding of the language. In addition to language, you can learn about cultural practices, gestures, and relationships. Second, having a native speaker partner increases your exposure to the language. Practice makes perfect is a well-known expression that is certainly true for language learning. When you have a friend, romantic partner, or study buddy, you speak to them through text messages, phone calls, and basic interaction. These are all opportunities for you to practice the language. Making an effort to practice will help your vocabulary quickly expand beyond simple greetings, flirtatious words, and basic comments to deeper, more meaningful conversations. Third, a supportive partner is the best study aid you can find. We all make mistakes, especially when trying to learn a new language. But if you have a supportive partner, they can gently point out your mistakes and help you find better ways to express yourself. And if your native speaker study partner is also your romantic partner, your motivation will likely be even higher than someone who does not have a romantic relationship with a native speaker. Now, let's look at three ways our language learning program helps you learn even faster if you have a native speaker partner. First, all resources and materials are available in English and in your target language. Studying with a partner is special because it's an opportunity for both of you to learn a new language. That's why every single lesson, transcript, vocabulary list, and resource on our website is available in English and in your target language. You can learn from each other. Second, lessons are designed to help you understand and engage with culture. On our website, our focus is to help our students learn practical vocabulary and phrases that are actually used in everyday conversation. This means that from your very first lesson, you can start applying what you learn immediately. So if you want to go out to a restaurant, play games, or attend a social function with your partner, you'll have the vocabulary and phrases necessary to have a great time. Third, access to special resources dedicated to romantic phrases. If your study partner is your romantic partner, we have resources to help you communicate your feelings correctly. Our language learning program has special sections and tools to teach you love words, phrases, and cultural insights. Of course, please remember that simply being in a relationship is no substitute for studying. Communication is key to every relationship, whether romantic or not. If you fail to continue expanding your vocabulary and you stop learning the language on your own, your relationships may suffer or fizzle out. Without question, spending time with native speakers can help you dramatically improve your language proficiency. But this is no replacement for focused studying. It's essential to help facilitate better communication and master the language. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, everyone. Do you know how to say, I love you in Chinese? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. 我爱你. 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 Or if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say 我喜欢你. 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 And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say 无法用言语来形容我对你的爱. 无法用言语来形容我对你的爱.
无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。You just learned three different ways to say "I love you" in Chinese. Being able to speak freely with native speakers is an amazing ability in itself. But being able to speak freely to a whole new group of people opens you up to possible new relationships. Most people don't realize that spending the time to build relationships in a foreign language can actually help you improve your language skills dramatically. In this video, we look at how making relationships in a foreign language can help you learn the language faster. The benefits of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's motivational. One of the greatest struggles for anyone learning a second language is motivation. Nine times out of ten, learners start out their language learning journey with loads of enthusiasm, only to see it gradually wane over time. Try as they may, it's difficult to maintain the spark they once shared with their new language. So why not borrow energy from a different part of your life? When you make relationships with people in your target language, all the excitement of a new relationship carries directly over into your learning. Suddenly, you have a very rewarding reason to improve your skills and keep practicing. As your partner or your friends get involved, you will also have the advantage of a constant source of support and encouragement. Second, it makes language learning practical. Studying vocabulary and grammar is a vital part of language learning. Whether you use a podcast, textbook, app, or find yourself in a classroom, however, as great as studying is, a language really only starts to come alive once you start using it in everyday life. There's a huge difference between a scripted conversation in a lesson plan and a real-life conversation with a native speaker. Building relationships with native speakers will give you the chance to talk in your target language often. Furthermore, it will be in a way that feels natural. You'll learn the words in the context, which is hugely important. Third, it's fun. One of the greatest benefits is that it allows you to practice without having it feel like practice. Oftentimes, you'll find yourself so wrapped up in the conversation that you forget you're using a foreign language. This takes a lot of the pressure off and helps you focus on communication over trying to speak absolutely perfectly. You also get to learn about a whole new culture from your partner or friends. So you're not only learning language skills, but also about the cultures that surround your target language. The risks of having friends and partners who speak a foreign language. First, it's easy to miscommunicate. When it comes to relationships, humans can easily misunderstand each other. So it can be hard when building relationships in your target language, when you or your partner's lack of ability in each other's respective native tongue can lead to miscommunications that would otherwise be avoidable. Depending on the language you're speaking, a simple mistranslation or mispronounced word can drastically change the meaning of a sentence. As long as you can afford each other some extra patience and the benefit of the doubt, then you should be able to overcome this pitfall. Second, your language skills could suffer if your relationships don't work out. If all your language practice is wrapped up in one person and your relationship with that person doesn't work out, then your language learning could take a big hit. So it's best not to put all your hopes for language growth on one area, relationship or otherwise. You don't want to risk losing motivation, so try to find it in many different areas. An idea for building relationships in a foreign language. Make games out of getting to know one another. Sometimes opening up in any new friendship or partnership can be hard. Add in the added struggle of a new language, and it can feel impossible to share your true feelings with others. So instead of trying to take first interactions so seriously and talking about the usual things like the weather or work, try to ask new, interesting questions. Try to figure out what the other person's hobbies are without asking directly, or what kind of job they have. This will give you a chance to stretch your language skills in a new way, and you'll probably get some funny answers out of it too. Being comfortable being silly or making language mistakes is a great way to bond with someone, even if you've just met. Relationships in a foreign language have a lot more benefits to offer than drawbacks. Don't be scared to open up to people and make mistakes. And for even more help to build relationships in your target language, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, everybody.
Today we are going to learn 10 breakup lines. Actually, I don't want to break your guy's heart. I love you all the time. So, but it's still better to know these lines of breakup. Okay, let's begin. Um, I betrayed you. You what? Oh, if you betray somebody, it's a really serious problem in the lover relationship. So never do something betray your lover. It can be broke your lover's heart. Friendship is more suitable for us. Maybe your lovers just think you two guys is be friends is more natural and more interesting and uh, just uh, can balance from the friend's love. So don't be so upset. She's still your friends. 异地恋不能长久 Long distance relationships don't work. Mm, guys, actually this problem is really serious in China. I have lots of friends who are long distance relationship and uh, maybe they can see each other just uh, once a month. So it's not easy to keep going their relationship. So almost 90% uh, of them have already broke up. Mm, yeah, it's a common problem in China. I can't give you what you want. Actually, this sentence is more suitable for the boys because the boys can't afford the diamond ring or apartment or the house. So they think maybe their girlfriend need this and they can't give girlfriends. So they will say this sentence and break up with them. Ah, it's heartbroken. Don't do that. Maybe the girl don't need the diamond ring or the house. Woman we can't survive through the seven years each. Seven years each, 七年之痒 is a really popular sentence in our days. Ah, uh, it's seven years each like the break point. You guys marry for seven years and suddenly some people love each more and they can become more happy in the marriage life. But some people, they are already found all of the disadvantage and they know pretty well from each other. So that they say, ah, oh, I'm not going to live with you anymore. So they broke up. So lots of couples divorce in the seven years. So we call seven years each. I need to focus on my career. Mm, but I, I don't think there is a conflict between your girlfriend or boyfriend and with your career. Actually, in China, the girls will uh, help the boys uh, their living things like breakfast or do the laundry. So you can have your girlfriend and your career at the same time. Don't make this excuse to your girlfriend. Mm, you are a good man, just uh, we are not right for each other. Sometimes I feel a little bit sorry for the good man, 好人, because in Chinese, 好人 means the boy will do lots of things for the girls, but the girls will say no to the boys. 我父母不同意, my parents disapprove of us. Actually, it's a really common and serious problem in China. Uh, but in modern China, parents already change. In the ancient China, your marriage is decided by your parents, not by yourself. So if your parents disapprove of your relationship with your girlfriend and boyfriend, mm, that's a serious problem. I'm not good enough for you. Mm, I think this sentence is like, you don't have other excuse to break up, so you can use this one. Mm. I just don't love you anymore. Oh, guys, just uh, this sentence is the truth. Other sentences are excuse. This is a uh, root reason for breakup, maybe. There is a slang in Chinese like 如果爱,请深爱, means if you love each other, please love deeper. So please do that. Love your boyfriends and love your girlfriends more deeper and continue to be loved. The world will be more beautiful with more love.
Okay, guys. Today we learn ten breakup lines. I don't hope you use these sentences into your girlfriends and your boyfriends. 如果爱，请深爱。If you love, please love deeper. And、uh, what kind of breakup line you have ever used? Please comment below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Give me some up. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. I like to be with you feeling. I can invite you to drink something. Hmm. Ah, you this Friday have any plans? Do you want to go to the movies with me? Oh, really? Hmm. Ah, I think you were so cute. 呃，你今晚想来我家吗<笑> ？Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. To meet you. <笑> so which language this time? Okay. So first one. 我觉得你笑的时候很迷人。Okay. This is easy. <笑> like this is. Are you really easy? Like it's Mandarin. Yes. <laughs> How come you know? I've got a lot of Chinese friends. Oh. And I also understand like a bit of the English accent. Really? But like. You mean English accent? Yeah, the English accent. When you, when, you, when you speak in、uh, when you speak in English, I can hear the. You can still the, hear it. Yeah, the Chinese accent. Like I've got a friend. He has like almost the same voice than you. Oh really? Okay. So you understand what I said? I don't know. No. <laughs> Can you say it again? I think you smile when you laugh. Okay. I'm your friend. No. I speak. Uh, uh, it's a je j'espère. Okay. Okay. Je <laughs> just、uh, like I just got the the je. It means the I the I. It means um. When you smile, you are very attractive. Okay, <laughs> thank、yeah. you. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I can only see your your mouth right now, not your eyes. Ah, <laughs>、uh, some kind of Asian language. Um, how would it? You 怎么那么可爱 It was so sudden. I don't know. Okay, one more. <laughs> um. 你愿意和我去看电影吗 ？Chinese, Chinese. Yes, yes, so good. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. So basically, the first line I said,、um, like, why are you so cute? First one I said, oh, I, um, I like being with you. Ah.、Uh. And the second one was, may I buy you a drink?、Um, wow. And the third one is: Do you have any plans for the weekend?、Oh. And are you willing to come to a movie with me? And the fourth one was like:、uh, Oh, when you smile, you look pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> and、so、then like the fifth one is:、um, Are you willing to come to my place afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just like to be kind of like spice things up a bit. <laughs> ah, all right. So yeah, I, I wasn't so wrong with my reactions, right? No, no, no. Like, no. like there you, was, yes. yeah, there was like <laughs> some parts that you actually like. You know, it's funny because you kind of understand like, yeah, what's it about? Yeah, a little. Yeah, even though you don't understand a word. <laughs> hey, nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, I was hesitating. Maybe it was like Cantonese instead of Cantonese.、Uh, Mandarin. It's kind of close, but、yeah. then Cantonese is like a totally different. Yeah. Like the way that they sound is totally different. So okay. So I don't know if I would have guessed the difference. Yeah. So where are you from? Which part of like which、um, city? I'm actually from Taiwan. Okay, Taiwan. Okay. Yeah. So when I speak Chinese, I don't have、um, the accent that normally people in China、okay. um, have. So. It's different. Like they, even though they speak the same language, but the accent is different. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, since it's like a big country, a lot of、yeah. different accents. See, and how do you say、uh, you're cute again? 
可爱，可爱。Oh, I see. Do, do you guys are really using them in real life? A like, lot. A lot. Yeah, because in、Hi. Taiwan and in China, <laughs> mm-hmm. a lot of people use that word a lot. Okay, so how the conversation goes? I mean, for example, can you? So first, you said you're cute, and then, and then the your smile is cute. <laughs> like it, the the word "cute" I can apply to both men and women.、Hmm. So it could、oh. be the girl saying "cute" to you. Oh, how cute! Like、so、know, it could like, be that. Like、so、it doesn't have to be for just、girls. for girls. Yeah, it could be for boys.、Everybody. Prefer cute or handsome? Uh, I think they, I think, or like I think they cool. Like, I think when you say "cute," I I think I. for guys、mm-hmm. it's more like、um, it's kind of when you're already、mm-hmm. pretty. Close with that person. Ah,、uh, it's not like someone you just know. You yeah, like you can, you don't really say, "Oh, you're, you're very cute," like you know, immediately. I see. But、um, unless he's like a superstar or something,、mm. like he's completely just very cute. Or can you just use "cute" without "you are"? Ah, cute,、mm-hmm. like cute. Like you know, Japanese say "kawaii" and then it's okay.、Mm. No. It doesn't make you sense. You could say "how cute," "how cute," "how cute," which means, means so cute. Like it does. It, yeah, it could be something like "how <laughs> cute," like dog, like a, like a dog or something. Ah, how cute, how cute. That works.、Yeah. Oh, I see. Hi, welcome to Chinese Top Words. My name is Ray. Today we're going to talk about ten most romantic ideas for a date. 烛光晚餐 candlelit dinner. 烛光晚餐 candlelit Dinner. 哪个女孩不喜欢烛光晚餐 What girl wouldn't like a candlelit dinner? Do you like a candlelit dinner? I don't like it because I always feel a little. I'm kind of clumsy. So if there was a candle, two candles on the dinner table, I feel a little nervous if I'm going to do something dangerous, something or cause some trouble by the fire or by accident. So I don't really like a candlelit dinner. 散步 To go for a walk, 散步 To go for a walk, 我们去河边散散步吧 Let's go for a walk along the river. 打保龄球 To go bowling, 打保龄球 To go bowling. 这个周末去打保龄球怎么样 How about going bowling this weekend? Do you like bowling? I just tried it last week, and、uh, I had、uh, so many gutter balls. I will improve my bowling skills. I got one spare once. Good for me for the first time bowling. 去水族馆 to go to the aquarium. 去水族馆 to go to the aquarium. 去水族馆需要一整天的时间 Visiting the aquarium will take a whole day. I visited the aquarium in Japan. I really enjoy it, and the tank is huge. If I have my time, I could just watch that, like watch the huge tank and so many fishes in front of me. I feel like I'm living in the sea with the fishes. I really enjoy it. I strongly recommend it. 去看歌剧 to go to the opera. 去看歌剧 to go to the opera. 我很少去看歌剧 I rarely go to the opera. I do rarely go to the re- opera. Only two times. And、uh, fell asleep two times, both times. Yeah, I went to an opera house in Beijing, but it's so pretty, and、um, the experience, the whole experience is good. But I just feel sorry, like I don't understand it, like so much. So I fell into sleep. Shang Tao Yi Ke, to take a pottery class. Shang Tao Yi Ke. To take a pottery class, 最近挺流行上陶艺课的 Taking a pottery class is very popular lately. I think I will enjoy a pottery class, even I never had experience yet, because I like messing up things. <laughs> 野餐 to have a picnic. 野餐 to have a picnic. 今天的天气很适合野餐 The weather today is perfect for a picnic. So in China, in elementary school. Um, we have spring travel for like a very short time, like in one day, 
And that's actually our picnic time. Because as a little kid, the teachers will not really take us to a place really far. And uh, just uh, very simply bring something, snacks, bring some bando, and we're going to have a picnic together. And uh, that's kind of my favorite time in my elementary school days. I really enjoy it. 吃晚饭,看电影 to have dinner and see a movie. 吃晚饭,看电影 to have dinner and see a movie. 吃晚饭,看电影是每对恋人都做过的事情吧? Going to a dinner than a movie must be something that every couple has done. So in China, many couples will spend their week and time for having a dinner and then watching a movie. But sometimes, I think not only China, they will fight about, they will have a little quarrel about what movie to see. 坐船, to take a ferry ride. 坐船, to take a ferry ride. 在约会的夜晚, 坐船看风景也是很浪漫的. Taking a ferry ride and enjoying the view on a date night is also very romantic. So if you visit China, especially Shanghai, I strongly recommend the bond, and you can take a ferry ride at night to enjoy the view of Shanghai. It's very pretty, and uh, it's a famous spot for the couple's date. 去博物馆, to go to the museum. 去博物馆, to go to the museum. 去博物馆可以学到很多东西. You can learn quite a lot when going to a museum. I remember there was a museum in the People's Square in Shanghai. People's Square is located in the center of Shanghai, and it's free for foreigners. You can learn a lot of Chinese culture there. Um, you will enjoy this experience in visiting a museum in China, I believe. Thank you for watching today's Chinese Top Words. Don't forget to subscribe to ChineseClass11.com and let us know what do you enjoy doing with your partner in the comment. And I will see you next time. Bye. Ah, uh, maybe first you can pretend like you know the person from somewhere, okay? <laughs> that always works. Nice to meet you. Hey, I like that English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, Maka. Mandika Dios Anja. Es correcto? Very sexy inside. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Mexican? No. no, 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 Mexican sounds Is it Spanish? No. <gasps> no. Va, que te gira una frase. De acuerdo? Yes. <laughs> Portuguese? No. Ah, so maybe it's Spain. Spanish, like. Uh, it's in Spain. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, um, how do they say it? Maybe I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> Catal <laughs> Catalonians? Yeah. Really? Catalan. Oh, really? <laughs> Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Hola, Max. ¿Cómo estás? La verdad es que te iba a tirar un chamullo barato, pero te vi, te vi los ojos y, y... No sé, te quiero invitar a salir, te quiero para algo serio. La verdad que no soy de hacer estas cosas, es raro en mí. Pero desde el momento en el que te vi... Estoy sintiendo cosas que antes no sentía. No sé qué me está pasando. Y... No sé si es tu voz o tu sonrisa, pero me parece que tenemos que ir a tomar algo juntos. Así que lo que voy a hacer es darte mi número de teléfono, me vas a escribir, tal vez nos vamos a enamorar, no sé, veremos qué pasa. ¿Está bien? No sé. I know. <laughs> wow, this is like love confession. I have to admit that it was like kind of romantic, like the pronunciation and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, but like, yeah, the content is a bit cheesy, yeah, oh, sorry about that. Is it Spanish language, right? I don't know, you think so? Yeah. It's Castellano, exactamente. I like to be together with you. I can you have a drink? You're so cute. It was so sudden, I don't know. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> Are you willing to come to my place afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like to be kind of like spice things up a bit. <laughs> like it's Mandarin. Yes. <laughs> How come you know? I've got a lot of Chinese friends. Oh. Ramen, 먹고 갈래? 
Okay. No. <laughs> this is obvious for me. <laughs> it means, do you want to drop by my house and eat instant noodle with me? <laughs> this sounds like like something like Chinese or Vietnamese to me. <laughs> do you really use it? I mean, oh, it's just like... It's, this line is from a movie, mm. so mm. actually everyone knows. Yeah, ta. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ta. Korean, right? <laughs> okay, so let's say uh, Korean. But please remember this line, okay. 라면 먹고 갈래? Because 먹고 갈래. this line is usually used by female. Oh, <laughs> so it's like I will. I will try. <laughs> Today I will try. Yeah. Ramyeon mokko galle. Ramyeon mokko galle. Yeah. Doko ka de oai shita koto arimasu ka? Nai to omaimasu. Kondo issho ni gohan de mo dou desu ka? Ah, mada tabeta. Mada tabeta. It means no, maybe. <laughs> 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 Expect the answer. <laughs> it was I like I got excited. <laughs> and now I get very shy because she understands. <laughs> I understand <Okay>. you. <laughs> it means like I'm going to protect you. Yeah. Yeah. It it's like, you know, they don't say. In real world. Yeah, but sometimes you see drama. in drama. Yeah, drama. But it's too romantic, yeah. I think. Uh, I want to give a message from here to the world. Mm -hmm. Don't watch so much drama. <laughs> <laughs> Come and experience real life first, right? That's true. Du är så vacker. Så det är solen en anledning att skina. Wow. Wow. <laughs> This one is hard. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You give the sun a reason to shine. Wow. It doesn't look like something European or... I feel like it's may, it might be indie. Oh, yeah, this is, this is a good one. Dina läppar smakar som vin och ikväll vill jag bli berusad. Okay. Like it looks so different to me right now. Like I feel like it's something European right now and like something <laughs> Germanic, <laughs> but not German. <laughs> What's um, the letter it starts with? The letter it starts with? Yeah. Uh, S. Okay. Uh, so you, can you say it again? This yeah, one? Yeah. <laughs> not because I like the complete <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it as many times <laughs> as you like. Om när var kriminellt att vara snygg hade du fått livstid. Okay, this is like something European because I hear no criminal. Du es, you said, right? Du es so. Du es so. Is it a European language? Yes. Swedish? Holy cow. Swedish, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know because I have friends from Sweden. Ah. Hello again. <laughs> oh, you're a beautiful girl. <laughs> You are a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a girl. What, really? <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Mm. Oh, difficult. Usually I've got some bad stereotypes about, like, Spanish. But the Spanish one was quite good, I think. But that's not the winner. Um, to me, like, okay. I think it was Korean. Mainly because I couldn't understand, uh, like, what it meant. I don't know. I just think Spanish sounds maybe the most sexist of the languages I've heard <laughs> today. Um... Yeah, I don't. I didn't know much of Catalan. The sound of that, and that was really nice as well. Now, well, since my husband is Korean, <laughs> Korean was attractive, I think, because that's why maybe I fell in love with him, right? 
but also it's really hard to decide because uh, Castigliano and also the Canton language, it sounds also very attractive. I don't know, maybe it's because of their tonation. I don't know why, but even though I, if, like, I don't know the meaning, it sounds like very natural, very confident. So I like that language too. Hi, I'm Ray. Welcome to ChineseClass11.com. Today we're going to talk about five amazing love quotes from Chinese songs. So today it's going to be a romantic episode. Because of love, we are not easily sad. So everything is happy. Because of love, we grow up simply. So I still can be crazy for you anytime. Okay, the first one, the song's name is In Wei Ai Qing, Because of Love. It's by two singers, very famous singers. It's by Fei Wang and Ethan. So in this song, the famous quote is In Wei Ai Qing, Bu Hui Qing Yi Bei Shang. So, because of love, we are not easily sad, so everything is happy. Because of love, we grow up simply, so I still can be crazy for you anytime. I just read an article about our research findings. They interview so many happily ever after married couple and ask about their secrets and their signs of their successful marriage. And one of the common signs is if you meet the right one or in the right relationship, you will feel everything is easy. You do not need to use your brains. It's just like this song, like we grow up simply, I still can be crazy for you anytime, everything feels easier than before. Yeah, like when you are in a difficult relationship, you need your torture in your brain, like, or you always feel not so relaxed. You cannot be yourself um, easily. When you are being with this one, you cannot be yourself, simply. 没有一点点防备,也没有一丝顾虑。你就这样出现在我的世界里,带给我惊喜,情不自已。Not a little preparedness, without a trace of apprehension, you are in my world, to my surprise, unable to restrain the emotions. The second one, 没有一点点防备,也没有一丝顾虑,你就这样出现在我的世界里,带给我惊喜,情不自已。not a little preparedness without a trace of apprehension. You are in my world, to my surprise, unable to restrain the emotions. Okay, this is a song by Chu Wan Ting. Um, she is a very talented singer. She always writes her own songs and play her own songs and sing her songs. So um, I like her voice and uh, her works. Her first album is Everything in the World. 在有生的瞬间能遇到你,尽花光所有运气,到这里才发现曾呼吸过空气。In the moment of life, I can meet you, actually spend all my luck. To only this day find, I had only breathed the air. 在有生的瞬间能遇到你, 尽花光所有的运气,到这日才发现我曾呼吸过空气。In the moment of life, I can meet you, actually spend all my luck, to only this day find, I had only breath the air. This song is by one of my favorite lyricists. Mm, for my personal understanding, it means, mm, you feel you used all your luck. You spend all your luck just to find this person. And you already lost her or him. But you 
actually you are still in love with him or her. Mm, you are still missing him, even after you broke up. You only feel you live while you are with this person. 为你，我用了半年的积蓄，漂洋过海的来看你。为了这次相聚，我连见面时的呼吸都曾反复练习。言语从来没能将我的情意表达千万分之一。为了这个遗憾，我在夜里想了又想，不肯睡去。For you, I spent my half year savings across the ocean to see you. For this time together. I've been practicing my breath again and again. Words I have never been able to express my feelings one minute. For this regret, I sought at night and would not like to sleep. 为你，我用半年的积蓄漂洋过海的来看你。为了这次相聚，我连见面时的呼吸都曾反复练习。言语从来没能将我的情意表达千万分之一。为了这个遗憾，我在夜里想了又想，不肯睡去。For you, I spent my half year savings to cross the ocean to see you. For this time together, I've been practicing my breath again and again. Words I have never been able to express my feelings one minute. For this regret, I sought at night and would not like to sleep. This one means I. I want our meeting to be perfect, and I spend all my savings to、um, see you. To I spend so much effort to be able to see you. So I want this to be perfect. So I want myself to be perfect. I want this to be perfect in memory. So I even my breath, the way I breath, I need to practice. Not to mention other things. Maybe I will prepare a surprising gift. For you, and I will write a love letter to express my missing for you for this long time before I see you. So this love song, I want to express how much I love that person, how much deep emotions I have that person, and I would like to sacrifice so much for this person, just to, even to see her or to. See him even for one time in my life. You in my eyes are the beautiful. Every smile makes me sad. Your good, your good. When you speak, your lips are the sweetest. You are the sweetest in my heart. Only the one I love can experience it. You are the most beautiful in my eyes. Every smile makes me drunk. Your bad, your good, your pouty lips when you get angry. You are the most beautiful in my heart. Only those who love each other can understand it the best. Okay, the next song. The name is 最美 the most beautiful. It's by a very famous Chinese band called 羽泉你在我眼中是最美，每一个微笑都让我沉醉。你的坏，你的好，你发脾气时撅起的嘴，你在我心中最美。只有相爱的人才能体会。你在我心中是最美。只有相爱的人最能体会。You are the most beautiful in my eyes. Every smile makes me drunk. You're bad. You're good. Your pouty lips when you get angry. You are the most beautiful in my heart. Only those who love each other can understand it best. This song used to be the most popular song at karaoke. I think still, if you go to karaoke, sometimes you heard it from your neighbor or in your karaoke room with your friends. It's very easy to sing along. So try it. You will like it. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's Chinese top words, and I feel really happy to share with you romantic Chinese lyric from Chinese songs. Do you have any songs you want to understand, which you don't understand in Chinese? Let me know, and I will check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to ChineseClass101.com. I will see you next time. Bye. Great work! Here's a reward: speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.